Life is a fragile and fleeting gift, and it's easy to lose sight of that fact in the hustle and bustle of our daily routines. Sometimes, it takes a wake-up call to remind us that time is a precious commodity, and how we choose to spend it can make all the difference in the world. Today, I want to share a story that may challenge your perspective, ignite your sense of purpose, and inspire you to seize the moments that make life truly remarkable. You see, not too long ago, I found myself living a life of caution and overthinking. Every decision was meticulously analyzed, and the safest, most comfortable option was my default choice. I had become a prisoner of my comfort zone, shying away from risks, experiences, and opportunities. But then, something remarkable happened. I realized that my time on this earth is finite, just like yours, and the prospect of my own mortality became a source of happiness and motivation. In the midst of my cautious existence, my wife, Meredith, came across an intriguing TikTok video. It showcased people dressing up in medieval attire, journeying to a castle, and reveling in a medieval ball. It sounded like an adventure, but it was also expensive and located on the other side of the world, in England, a land far from my comfort zone. The old me would have instantly dismissed the idea, citing reasons like cost, inconvenience, and a dislike for dancing. However, I had recently adopted a new approach, seeking advice from my future self. I started to ask myself questions from the perspective of an older version of me, a person who had lived a full life and was now looking back from their deathbed. What would they say about taking risks, pursuing extraordinary experiences, and embracing opportunities? The answer was clear, I would regret not doing this, not only for my own sake but also for Meredith. Life is brimming with the unknown, and yes, bad things can happen, but living in fear of them is no way to exist. I chose to see life as a series of opportunities to create memories and stories that I could carry with me until my last breath. So, we embarked on a month-long trip to Europe, with the grand adventure of the medieval ball as our pinnacle. This adventure brought me face to face with the 100-year-old rule, a perspective-altering concept that redefined how I approach life's challenges and joys. Imagine, for a moment, that you're on your deathbed. The end is near and your existence is about to fade away. Everything you've ever had or experienced has come to an end, and your time is now an irreplaceable treasure. In this moment, you're granted a miraculous opportunity. An angel appears, offering you the chance to travel back in time to relive your life, to make different choices, to cherish moments, and to savor the precious minutes you once took for granted. The 100-year-old rule asks you to hold on to that perspective in the present, to recognize the value of time while there's still time left to make it count. It's a simple yet profound shift in mindset that changes how you view life. It compels you to re-evaluate your priorities and focus on the moments that truly matter, those that will be etched in your memory when your time is running out. This rule has become my guiding star, and it has transformed my life in three significant ways. It influences how I make decisions, how I find happiness and how I interact with the world around me. Firstly, it's changed my decision-making process. When faced with choices, I now consult my future self, imagining their perspective from the end of their life. If I were to return to this very moment, how would I want to live it? This question encourages me to take actions that create, inspire, and connect. I find myself more inclined to create something meaningful, whether it's making a video, writing, or spending quality time with loved ones. Those choices resonate with my 100-year-old self, reminding me that what matters most are the moments I create and the impact I have on others. Secondly, this rule has enhanced my happiness levels. When times get tough or stress mounts, I no longer escape into the distractions of the digital world. Instead, I ask my future self what I should be doing. If today were the last day I could experience this part of my life, how would I act? This question shifts my focus to the present and guides me away from trivial conflicts, pointless worries, and distractions. It urges me to be present, to soak in the beauty of the world, and to appreciate the people around me. Lastly, 
the 100-year-old rule has encouraged me to truly live in the moment. It's all too easy to prioritize the next day or the future over the present. As a result, I've missed out on countless opportunities to make meaningful memories. Think about New Year's Eve, I was the person who chose sleep over celebration, solely for the promise of a better morning. But with this rule in mind, I've recognized the absurdity of denying myself the joys of the present for the sake of a more comfortable future that may never arrive. It's liberated me to live in the moment, to dance like no one's watching, and to revel in life's extraordinary experiences. So, let's return to the story of the medieval ball and the transformative power of the 100-year-old rule. On this night, I will not only be dressed as a pirate in a medieval castle, but I'll be dancing, making new friends, and reveling in the unique moments this adventure presents. Instead of dwelling on the hardships of travel, I focus on the extraordinary memories I'll cherish for the rest of my life. As I stand on the precipice of this incredible night, I urge you to contemplate the 100-year-old rule and its implications for your life. Remember, you too have the power to shift your perspective, to embrace every opportunity, and to live with unwavering purpose. As Steve Jobs once said, remembering that I'll be dead soon is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make big choices in life. We often lose sight of what is truly important when we let external expectations, pride, and fear drive our decisions. But when you imagine yourself on that deathbed, awaiting the end, all trivial concerns melt away, leaving behind what truly matters. Today, I encourage you to live in the moment, to savor every precious minute, and to take chances. Choose experiences over comforts, cherish the people in your life, and embark on the extraordinary. Embrace the 100-year-old rule as your compass, guiding you toward a life filled with meaning, memories, and the happiness that comes from truly living. In closing, I leave you with this thought, life is finite, but before that moment arrives, choose to live and create a story that you'll be proud to carry with you into eternity. Seize the day, embrace the 100-year-old rule, and let the magic of life unfold before you. Before you go, help us by smashing that YouTube like button. And subscribe to this channel. So you won't miss any of our videos. This shows YouTube algorithm that you value our information. And it helps us spread the message. Sharing is caring.